What's up, you guys? So today, as you can tell by the plesi source and the pteranodon. And if you can't really tell, today is another Camp Cretaceous review, Coinky Dink. And it's another and it's another one of my holy grails. Oh, real quick. Alright, so let's move all this out of the way. The next holy grail is Baryonyx Grim. But anyways. So it's nothing too new about the Savage Strike boxes. Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous, Primal Attack, Sound Strike, Baryonyx Grim, Toro, Kenji, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Darius, the other idiots besides Bumpy. Now the reason why I call these guys idiots is because I don't know them too well. I know this one's Kenji, this one's Brooklyn, this one's Darius, and this one is Toro. But I don't watch the series. But eventually I will. Just not now. Probably in like a couple months. But anyways, there's a little Netflix logo there. Got some frashing action. Head strike. There's the other two, the Tyrannon, and and all I need left is that Triceratops and I'm done. You can use the Fax app, Primal Attack, and it includes the dinosaur and a maze. But we are not going to be doing a maze. All that matters is the dinosaur. But I probably will take the maze out. Just kidding. I probably won't. But if I do... And here is Grim. So right off the bat, he looks pretty awesome. He is amazing. He's a little bit top heavy when it comes to his mechanism. I found this guy at Walmart. He retails for about $14.97 while he lasts. I also did the th I did fi the Triceratops, but Grim was more important. I uh, I thought I wasn't even gonna get Grim today, but luckily I do. Cause originally I was gonna order this guy off of Amazon, but that didn't really work out. But anyways, I'm basically gonna be doing my Holy Grails as premieres. Besides the patent video. And, and if you had seen my video before the premiere of the Kinzosaurus, you may have seen the comment, if no one joins my premiere, I am quitting YouTube. Please, please join my premiere. And if you are here, please comment here. I really, really want someone to join my premiere. Like, seriously, I have over 600, I probably have over 650 subscribers. At least one of them should be joining, or... Actually, at least, at least 50 of them should be, should be joining. But I'm now starting to believe that they're all fake subscribers. So comment down below if you're not a fake subscriber. Comment in the chat if you're not a fake subscriber. Please. But anyways, enough about me rambling. It's, it's time for the articulation points. Now, this is the only Baryonyx by far that I know of that opens and closes its mouth without the button. And this one doesn't have the button anymore. Sorry, moves 360. It spreads out. And so does this arm. Whoopsie daisies. The leg moves 360. And they also spread out. Oh, 
locked in. Okay, I was, I was trying to get to show you as a scan code, but it's not really working. But anyways, let's open his mouth and real quick. I have the mini Apatosaurus and the mini Indoraptor for the thrashing action demonstration. Unfortunately, he can't turn or turn his, he can't rotate his neck unlike the Triceratops, but he can still thrash his head up and down and left to right. So, anyways. He basically has some of the some of the same roars as the roar boars baryonyx. And also. So now let's grab the interruptor. I really love how these toys are getting more realistic than the others. Like seriously, a button and a chomp does not compare to this. I expected Grimm to be good and I got my expectations back. But anyways, now it's time for the comparisons. Here is the Soundstrike Tyrannon. on. While Grimm doesn't have any buttons, but this guy does. It's not as good as Grimm. And yes, he does have the authentic wing flapping action, but that doesn't really compare to Grimm. And here's Plebby. Just flaps his wings, and again, has a button, unlike Grimm. And now, to be more precise, or whatever you call it, we're comparing him to the other Grimm's. I mean, Baryonyx's. This is the Battle Damage Baryonyx from the Breakout set. And look at this, guys. A button and a chomp. What's more accurate? Or... But anyways, that's that's Mr. Stupid number one, the Baryonyx. And now it's time for Mr. Stupid number two. The Baryonyx, the Roar Wars Baryonyx. Now, he's not broken. He doesn't have his batteries. And I did order more batteries and they are and they are on the way. But seriously, what's more accurate? This or because I think that Grim is more accurate. Especially with a strashing action. I mean like you can't go wrong without it. You can't go wrong with it. But anyways, that is Baryonyx Grim. I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Next review will be related to a video game. That's the only hint I'm giving you because I don't because I don't want to spoil it. Oh yeah, real quick, I should mention this. Okay, number one, I was I was gonna say how his tail is sh slightly shorter, but it's not. But anyways. That is grim for you guys.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.